Rodgers versus the almighty Dak Prescott, Devontae Adams, all these high-profile players, and the Niners are just continuing to show that we have a heart of a champion, without a doubt. The Southern Yankee, my man, I have I don't think I've seen you before on my show, but I know who you are, man. Hopefully all is well with you. I hope you're blessed, my man. Good stuff for coming through. And when people come through, I like to say, faithful rise up. Yee! Let's get it, man. Uh, will you get a Jimmy G tattoo if we win it all? Not a chance. Not a chance. Not a chance, man. I will never get a Jimmy G tattoo um, ever in my life. I will never get another man tattooed on me. You know, I have one, two tattoos, and that's one of them right there, man. That's who I'm rocking for, man. Uh, so, yeah, man. Hey, I like that question, though, man. Uh, for sure, for sure, for sure. But it will never happen. Um, you know, it's funny. Someone asked me yesterday on the live, who do you think is more sexy, um, Jimmy Garoppolo or Trey Lance? And I've never thought about that question ever in my life. Uh, you know, that's just my personal personal preference. I don't look at other men like that. Uh, that's just me. But, you know, I started really thinking about that question. It had me kind of cracking up, made me lightweight, feel uncomfortable. I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> um, but once I really started thinking about it, you know, I was like, hey, I want to answer this question. Who do I think is sexier, Jimmy G or Trey Lance? You know, um, all I could picture was the tattoo on Trey Lance's back that said child of God. So, uh, you know, I chose Trey Lance. I think Trey Lance is a, a definitely a better looking man. <laughs> uh, the Southern Yankee, my man, says, all jokes aside, what are our keys to victory against L.A.? I have not put a lot of thought into this, but. My foundations of victory are always, number one, win in the trenches. you got to win in the trenches. Um, you know, I feel like the rest versus fatigue in the Packer game really, really, uh, it was just shown. You could see we were fatigued and they were well rested. They were blowing us up on the offensive line. I'm not sure how many uh, – times it was whether it was Alex Matt Tom Compton um who else we got over there Brung skill you know uh, they they were beating us and and not only were they beating us uh on the offensive line not only was our offensive line getting beat but you could just see they were flying to the ball it just feels like they, they you know you could see the rest versus fatigue so i would say in the trenches i would also say D'Amico Ryans did an amazing job um, in the third quarter versus the Rams. Um, my biggest thing versus the Rams the last time we faced him was, all right, Dante Johnson is getting beat. Dante Johnson is getting beat. Um, we got to do something, and we got to do something now. Our defense was playing great, but then Matthew Stafford would dice us up with Cooper Cup. And it was just happening over and over and over. It's like that whole first half was like great defensive plays. They get the first down. Great defensive plays. They get the first down. And uh, so my thing was, hey, we got to do something quick to compensate for Dante Johnson and just help with uh, Cooper Cup, you know, just making those cuts. And, you know, they, he's obviously had a great season. Uh, so. The biggest takeaway that I took from that game was D'Amico Ryan started a blitz on third down in the second half, and it proved to be a major factor. We started getting after the quarterback. Uh, Matthew Stafford started tiptoeing, looking uncomfortable. Man, and it completely turned the momentum. Another thing that changed the momentum is it's hard to get into a rhythm on offense when the other team just has the ball, when the other team is converting third down over, over third down, we're not converting our third downs. We're at a rhythm. So in the second half of that game, specifically 
you know, once we start getting to the quarterback, it allowed us to get into a rhythm. The first drive of that second half versus the Rams, we scored a touchdown, I believe. And then we got a three and out right away. So that kept the offense in a rhythm. Um, so that allowed us to do that 10 straight runs, the 10 straight runs to the Debo touchdown pass. So my keys to the game is winning the trenches, um, make good adjustments on defense, keep Matthew Stafford like off of his game, convert on third downs, shut them down on third downs. And then um, Jimmy Garoppolo needs to play a clean game. He is due for a clean game. It's been a while since he's played a clean game. Uh, just don't turn the ball over and convert third downs. You know, it's, you're never going to be perfect. Just don't make mistakes. One major thing that I seen versus the Green Bay Packers when he threw that pick in the in the red zone was it feels like he had like at least three options. He could have thrown the ball away. He could have threw it up. You know, maybe it was his lack of arm strength. I don't know. But you could throw the ball in a position to where only your receiver could go get it or it goes out of bounds. I feel like he had multiple things he could have done because we see the way the 49ers are winning games. Those three points matter. Those seven points matter, you know, and then when you turn the ball over, that's potentially a 14 point swing. You don't get seven and they go down and get seven, even though I don't believe they went down and got seven, but still it's, you could potentially have a 14 point swing. It is a game of momentum. And so that's another thing, momentum, win in the trenches, play a clean game, um, keep on showing that same heart. Kyle Shanahan, uh, be masterful in your play calling. Um, don't wait, you know, call a masterful game the whole game. <clears throat> don't wait to shock anybody. Uh, one thing I do notice what D'Amico Ryans did as well versus the Packers, he started blitzing earlier. Kind of like, all right, it's go time. We need to win. He started bringing up the linebackers, dropping the linebackers back, like faking a blitz, but then come up with someone off the edge, whether it be Tart or Ward. So beautiful, beautiful uh, um, game calling by D'Amico Ryans. Uh, you know, hey, the special team showed up in a major way. Special teams, you don't have to be special, um, but just play clean. No fumbles. Uh, you know, just that's the biggest thing. No fumbles on the returns, on the kickoffs, uh, and don't let them get uh, huge plays as well. If we could take the ball a away again on special teams, that's another factor, I believe. Uh, I'm going to get back into these comments. And I'll have some more keys to victory, man, specific keys to victory, X factors and all that. So, J.R. Meadows, what's up, my man? Good stuff for coming through like you always do. Hopefully everything is well with you, my man. That's what's up. Uh, we eating good, boys, steak, steaks, Packers, and now more lamb chops, Niners, Niners gang. Let's eat, let's eat, let's eat, let's eat. Man, let's ride this thing all the way to Super Bowl number six. This is the year, this is the year. Straight up, we're eating. We are eating, feasting. You know, hopefully in the Super Bowl, <laughs> I truly believe we're going to get there. But uh, I believe the Super Bowl is February uh, 13th, and my birthday is on February 14th. So hopefully I'm able to celebrate and feast to the fullest. I will be feasting. All week long. J.R. Meadows, K Dog, what's up, brother? Great content. Thank you, my man. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Uh, I'm just, you know, hey, I just say what's on my heart. I do a little bit of research, you know, I check out a few sources here and there, but other than that, I just try to speak what my eyes and my heart see, my man. Thank you for the compliment. I appreciate it. Uh, summer sweat. The Rams should have killed us. When they had the chance, 17 up week 18, man. Hey, that just goes to show 
that just goes to show that we have a heart of a champion, man. Like, like for real, this is, this is what championship teams look like. This is what it looks like. Uh, when you can, it feels like we are able to win um, 